Shall I have your um your sweater? I'm gonna bring it home and wash it. Fucking my socks in my Yeah, <laughs> gorgeous. That's my best look. Sad times. Good morning, friends. Welcome to the last day of a beautiful cottage weekend. We are very sadly leaving today. It's Sunday, 1230. It's been a perfect weekend. Perfect. We're just doing some cleaning now, getting all packed up. We say goodbye to the dock. So sad. We're gonna go to the club for lunch, get a little lunch, and then head back to the city. It's been so good, so relaxing. Lots of reading and lots of wine. <laughs> Wow, that is so nice. I'll sit at the head of the table. Cheers. 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 Bye bye. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this is so nice. Dad. Home sweet home. There's nothing better than getting home to a beautiful fresh place. I had my cleaning lady come while we were gone and it is fresh in here. Perfect for Jilly coming to stay tomorrow. Oh, that was a long drive. On the way there, it took two hours. It took just about four and a half. Getting back, gotta love the Sunday Muskoka traffic. Okay, I just needed to grab a little clip because my hair is freaking wild. Look at it. I've discovered if I don't brush my hair, the hair ends up pretty curly. It is 6.30, we're back. It was such a chill weekend, but I'm just excited to be alone for tonight. The first couple of days were just me, Jill, Con, and Connor's brother. And then a couple of Connor's friends, Sid and John, came up as well. And it was just such a perfect group. Everyone was like on the same page with everything. We had so much yummy food, really great cheese boards. It was so great, so like nice to just disconnect a bit and just like read my book, sit on the dock, jump in the water. So nice. I just, I love Muskoka cottage life. Like it is just so everything. I didn't like vlog vlog, but I did take clips on my phone. Obviously I was at Connor's parents' house and I just like didn't want to, you know, always be vlogging. But this is the weekend. It was so good. 
I loved it. I can't believe how fast it went. But we are back. Jill is coming to stay with me starting tomorrow. And then we have another guest coming in a few days after that. I ordered a rug for my living room like a while ago. Like while I was in LA, I think. And there were so many issues with the shipping. But alas, it has arrived. And it's in one of the packages over here. Here's the rug pad. Never mind, this is not the rug. What if they only sent the rug pad? Okay, so upon further investigation, the actual rug is getting delivered tomorrow. I kind of want to like see what it would look like under the couch just to get a general sense of how the rug will look. So maybe I'm going to do that. There is a possibility of this looking weird because of the shape of the room, but I think it's the rug. So this is kind of what we're looking like. When I get the actual rug tomorrow, I'm gonna push this a little bit further into the couch. But you can see the issue with getting a rug is that like this is just difficult. I mean, how many times have I said that this space is a challenge? <laughs> it just is. It's a neutral rug, so it should just blend in nicely with the space, but just had to see what it was gonna look like. I think I'll also move it a little bit more in over here. Yeah. See if I can get my hair to dry the way it does when I come out of the lake all like wavy and curly just trying to scrunch and I put in some product but I'm actually going to just like chill for my evening talk to no one do nothing <laughs> slash throw on you know a show I'm thinking the originals but I will pick up this vlog tomorrow got some stuff to do to get you know the guest bedroom all ready for Jill and the bathroom up there as well I have things to do so that a guest can use it so I will see you guys when I am up in the morning I have this in the fridge for like ever. This uh, cold brew concentrate. I just like haven't found a way of enjoying this, honestly. Since buying this, I've discovered you have to water it down, but I still just don't like it. I don't like the flavor. So I'm just gonna finish it and I'm not gonna water it down. I'm gonna add some of the stock cold brew that I actually enjoy. And then this creamer, you don't need a lot because it is sweet. I taste the Trader Joe's. It's so bad. It is 9.30. Jill is heading here around 1. So I have some time just to get some stuff done. And also I have things to set up. Like I have to set up the rod in the shower up there so she can actually shower and use it. I have a curtain and everything. The streets up there are all clean. I want to put like little chocolates on her pillow. <laughs> like a little hotel vibe. Although hotels don't do that anymore, eh? Right? Also, hair verdict. It did come out like wavy, but not as defined as when I came out of the lake. Work in progress. I'm not gonna do the whole curly girl method because that's just like a lot of steps and I don't wanna do it. But I am gonna look for a little ways to improve the texture of my hair. Anyways, this is where I'm gonna be for a little bit. Okay, it's just about 12.30. Jill's gonna get here around one. Gotta do some prep stuff, but I am so excited. So if you guys remember when I was back in LA, like right when I was leaving, I got a package from a company that has snacks and I was snacking on that in the morning. And they are so good. They are so good. Mmm. I wish I could bring this on my plane, which I probably could have, but I didn't. Anyways, they are actually sponsoring this vlog. They sent me more snacks over here. So I was having the traditional crunch mix snack mix. These are from Catalina Crunch. The traditional is so good, genuinely amazing. They also sent me their other flavors like the spicy kick. And then I have two more that I've been snacking on. We have cheddar crunch mix and then also the creamy ranch. These are so yummy. They're actually keto friendly if that is a diet you partake in. I gotta try the spicy kick. They're low carb, they are higher in protein, which is great, something that I need. They're also made with clean ingredients, like good stuff. Look at this, it's good, it's really good. <clears throat> Mmm. They have these little crispy cheese things. Mmm. Bartels. Their snack mixes are actually inspired by like, you know, childhood nostalgia and our favorite snacks growing up. But these are a little bit better for you. Mmm. There's nuts in here too. And also their cereal mixes because they do have, you know, their own cereals. And other snacks, like they have a lot of different options, but this 
this is my favorite. I really like that they're higher in protein than other snacks for someone that does need more protein in the diet. I really love this. I mean, we love a crunchy snack. We really do. Because I'm working with them on this video, they're actually giving you guys a discount, 15% off. You can use the code TERMICHELLE for that 15% off. If you are a snacker like I am, I highly recommend. All the flavors are seriously so good. It's got some fiber in there, a little sugar. Honestly, all around, really, really solid. Into the snack where you go. Highly recommend trying this. Link will be in the description. My hair is looking a little crazy. She's looking a little crazy. Maybe I'll fix it a bit. <laughs> Just gonna quickly, quickly like blow it out a bit. This is completely unnecessary because it's not like Jill and I are gonna go anywhere today. It's supposed to rain all afternoon and evening, which is perfect because we were planning for like a little work day at home with like a nice chill relaxing night in with probably a movie. We were thinking maybe the Twilight series, but I just, I just need to fix the hair. Actually, let me try a different attachment. I don't really use this attachment because honestly, like, I don't really know about it. Back to this guy. You know what? This is not working for me today. It's just gonna be too much effort. It's easier to use when my hair is like wet. I just don't have the time to do it. I really do like the Dyson, but it can definitely take a little bit more time. And like, there is for sure a learning curve. People ask me all the time what I think of it. When I'm in a rush, it's not the go-to. But if I have a lot of time to do my hair nicely, it's great. But we're just gonna do some loose waves. That'll be fast. I feel like using this curling iron, it is the fastest way to do my hair because honestly, I just don't really hold the curls for very long because I just don't have the patience. But it really just smooths my hair. I really like this. And if I hold the hair longer, I can get like an actual nice curl. But for right now, I just need something to just make the hair look a little bit better. This is from Hot Tools. I'll link it down below. Okay better now gotta make sure the guest bathroom is good one thing i meant to do in here but forgot is get like a little towel rack but i don't have that so i'm gonna put these towels in these little shelves over here that you're currently on and then i have to figure out how to do the shower rod i gotta do that which is downstairs i need scissors okay scissors and little chocolates for jill's pillows i thought this was gonna be like springy means I have to go back downstairs. Okay, my biggest concern about this is it falling while she's taking a shower. That would be bad. 58. All right. Oh, I think this is too long. Shit. Nope, I ordered the wrong size, so. I'm gonna return this. I mean, that's 100% my fault. I just assumed that like, this would be like a standard size, but I guess there are some massive showers and this, yeah, that was my bad. I guess I'll just be ordering another one that's gonna get here tomorrow, so should be fine. But I'm gonna put my little chocolates, chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> oh, there. Maybe I'll open these up for her. And I gotta set up the Netflix. <laughs> Now, when she's here and getting into bed, now she has TV accessible to her. Okay, let me move some of this. So until the new shower rod comes in tomorrow, probably, Jill can use my shower, which is what she did last time anyways, so it's really fine. <laughs> but I have been informed she is on her way, so she should be here in 10 minutes, and I just wanna move some of this stuff. <laughs> Yes, I just got here yesterday, but I did my usual crap, which is opening boxes and not cleaning them up afterwards. I ordered these pillow shams because I decided that I don't like the ones that I DIY'd. They're just too purple for what I'm looking for. And these are also not it either. So I'm gonna return these. These are actually pretty nice. They're from Amazon, but the coloring just still isn't it. I was avoiding ordering more expensive pillow covers, but I know the ones that are gonna be perfect and I just need to pull the trigger. I try to find the cheapest available option before I go for the splurge, but sometimes it's just easier to go for the splurge. More often than not, it's worth the investment, especially for certain things. I'm honestly not entirely sure how long Jill is staying with me for. So Connor's family, Connor is her boyfriend, in case by some chance you don't know that. 
They live in Toronto, so when she's here, she splits the time between, you know, hanging out with his family and spending time with them, and then also spending time with me. Connor's going back to LA for some work stuff for the next 10 days, so I know for a fact she's gonna be with me for 10 days, and then he's coming back to Toronto because they have a wedding. So she'll probably go back over there for when that's happening, but it's such a nice treat living together. Like Jill and I, we're just two peas in a pod. We're a little duo, and we have been for, you know, a very long time, like eight years. <laughs> very, very grateful to have a best friend like that. Like I just, growing up, I always wanted that and I never thought it was possible until I met Joe. Sorry for the cheese. But it's such a treat getting to live together. Both of us have always not really wanted roommates. You guys know when I first moved to LA, I had roommates. That was a disaster. I'm not like, a, just a disaster. I think I had to move out like a month later. And then before that, when I went to school at Laurier for the whole one semester, maybe a semester and a half, I had three roommates there, also disastrous. I like living on my own. I really, really value my alone time. I personally need to recharge after social things and it's just nice to be in my own space and have my own space. I really, really value that aspect of independence. I just I like having my own space, but getting to be like roommates for, you know, 10 days, two weeks, whatever, is so much fun. We have so much fun. We get into like a nice little routine. It's just a really fun time living with your best friend for 10 days. I'm really excited. But I gotta make lunch. I know she's bringing over her lunch because she got something with Connor's brother Dylan. But now I have to figure out what I'm gonna eat. But I don't really have a lot of quick things unless I make a salad, which would require me making some tofu, which I can do, but I don't wanna get started on that until, well, let me see where she's at. Oh, she's like here. So I'll do that when she gets here. Oh. Jill met her neighbor's dog. <laughs> She's out there playing with her dog. Oh, this is so cute. One of my neighbors has the cutest golden retriever. <laughs> there she is. No, she's going to the wrong house. She's going to the wrong house. Jillian, wrong house. Wrong house. <laughs> I saw you. That's hilarious. I, I saw you through the window and I was like, oh no, she's going through the wrong house. Oh, well, welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. Oh, it's so nice to have you in my home. We made it. Oh, and there are so many things that have happened since you've been here last. Uh, no, seriously. Like, I haven't seen this in person. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm so used to it now. I feel like it just. I know, yeah. It's the normal. Immediately. Yeah. And coffee table. And there's a rug arriving oh, yes. today. Oh, my God. See, the rug thing was a bit of an issue. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, see. It's tough because of the angle. There. Yeah. So, I'm not gonna pay. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Do you wanna see your room? Yes. Okay, let's go. Roomies. Yay, roomies. <laughs> oh, also, I have a desk now these yeah. days. Right? And I love this new setup. It's so pretty. Thank you. Very when you were here last, there was a beer pong table. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jilly. Oh. Welcome to your, your new home. I love it. <laughs> Chocolates on your pillow. Why is it actually beautiful? It's cute. Right? It's so cute. I think there were chocolates on my pillows last time too. So really? Now I'll expect it every time. Well, I will do it every time. So, <laughs> and you have real curtains. Wow. Yeah, before it was just like tacked up. Yeah, a miracle. Also, there was a bit of a fiasco. So I did get a shower rod for up oh, here. Yes. But I ordered, it was too big. Okay. So we're gonna order a new one. Great. And totally fine. everything else should be good. Love it. I am loving it. Oh. A miracle. Okay, lunch time. Lunch time. Do you, want, do you want like an extra little sauce on the side? Um, potentially, I'm gonna try it first and see what it, what it needs. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Well, we have sauce options, obviously. Are you doing some rice in your salad? Yeah, yeah. I love putting rice in my salad. Because I don't have like any veggies made. So yeah. I gotta do it with something. Totally. Some kind of substance. I feel you. Okay. What's the uh, brand in this video? Catalina Crunch. Oh, what's that? Snacks. You're Ooh. gonna love them. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, they're really good. Oh, it looks good in there. Right? Taste test. Yeah. Taste test. yeah. Ooh, like, yeah. right? It's so cheesy. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. A little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are so good. Oh, maybe I'll put avocado in here too. Oh, yeah. that would be good. And a lot of onion. I love red onions. Me too. Just the, the perfect flavor crunch. Mm -hmm. I like it. Let the 
Okay, we have been working. It's now six o'clock. We've just been doing some editing, emails, all the fun stuff. I did get a package from Revolve. I did not get my rug. It just says delayed. It still says it's expected today, but I'm thinking that's very unlikely. Anyways, I wanna show you guys what I got. A lot of this is for my trip to France in September. Just trying to get ahead of it, you know? So I have the outfits all planned and cute. Let us see. Okay, I got these like cargo shorts that look really cute. I like them. They're oh, kind of so fun. Cute. Cool. I like it. I like the vibe. The cargo is very in right now. Oh, just a cute little black dress. Could be a cover up, could be dressed up, you know, whatever your preference. I like it. This one is definitely like a little cool beach cover up. Little white meshy dress. Very fun. I'm thinking this is maybe like a little Monte Carlo vibe. Ooh. Kind of fun. I will link all of this down below also if you guys are interested in anything. This I think is like the perfect summer color. It's like a little bodysuit like this. So kind of puffy sleeves, very low back. So cute. Oh, that's so cute. Right, like perfect for summer. Gotta wear it before summer's over. <laughs> Got this little mini skirt. Just a fun little, again, summer pop of color. It's really soft too, actually. This is for sure a France dress. I saw it and I was like, yes. Hard, hard yes. Just frolicking the streets. Oh, cute. Right? It's a little mini dress. So fun. Here's another little dress. I think or maybe a romper. Puffy sleeves, short. Very cute. Then I got a midi skirt. I really like the look of these little midi skirts with, you know, little tiny basic tank tops. Looks like this. Floral. It's so cute. And last but not least, a pair of shoes from Song of Style. Ooh, I need to get more comfy heels. These look cute. comfy. I hope they fit me. They look secure, you know, anything around the ankle will do it for me. Yeah. Ooh, sweet. Love these, love these. Perfect for summer. And that is the Revolve haul. Huge thank you to Revolve, as always, for all the stuff. It is truly beyond me. But I'm so excited. Oof, love, love everything. Okay, back to the laptop. Dominicana! The be real. The be real is happening. It's our new obsession. Yeah. I'll take one with my vlog camera. You said take it selfie mode first. You can just like go like. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 My turn. Minute twenty seconds. <laughs> I love it. It's so fun. Be real is my favorite app right now. It is truly it's so fun. So funny. I've only added like friends on there. If you haven't heard of Be Real, it's basically this app. It pops. Oh, you want to do it? Okay. <laughs> so it's basically this app where um, it's going to pop up with a notification on your phone that you oh, it's time to be real and you only have two minutes to take a photo of yourself and it takes yeah. a photo of you and then a photo also of what's like what you're looking at. Yeah, so through the front, the front like selfie camera and yes. like this camera. And the notification goes out at the same time to every single person yes. who uses the app, which is fun because then you see what everyone was doing at the exact moment. They're just so cool. Yes. It's just as authentic as it gets. You can't like put filters on there. It's yes. just what you see it's is very funny and random. Oh, here, Janine posted hers right on time. It's just fun to see what everyone's doing that exact moment. I feel like so many random people from high school are adding me now too, which is oh, funny. Oh, that is fun. Here are some of my previous B Reels. This was from day one, me, Jill, and Rachel. Day two, we got it on the way up to Muskoka. Day three, Muskoka. There we are. Oh, this one's a little. Then we have the following morning. Yep. This is mine from last night. It came in like so late. What time was that? Probably well, wasn't even that late, but I had, no, it was like 9.30, but I had just crawled into bed. What are you feeling for dinner tonight? What are we I don't know. Do we, the question is, do we want to go healthy or do we not? I know. I am conflicted. Always. I am also conflicted. What's our plan for tomorrow? We have no that's, plan. That's when we have the like movie night thing. Yes, I, okay. I keep forgetting. So we won't do dinner tomorrow then probably because we'll probably eat there. True. Okay, now what time it starts. Yeah, let's see. Bumble BFF. This vlog is gonna be jam I was events. just thinking that. I was thinking, oh man, this is gonna be chaotic. I know. <laughs> this is gonna be us rambling, doing our thing. Yep. 6.42 p.m. Wine o'clock. Wine o'clock, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I am excited. How are you, Jenny? Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Roommates. <laughs> Ooh, we're right. getting hints of Red. <laughs> Call <Connoisseurs. laughs> It's been raining, it's come and gone. It's like stopping and starting a lot, but we have our wine obviously, and we're also going to, ooh, why isn't this? I've decided for our first night together, it's only right to do a ramen night. Ramen night. Ramen! Oh, so excited. 
<laughs> and it's like rainy and gray. Yeah, so like a nice soup. Oh, sounds ideal. Yeah, we're gonna try a new ramen spot in the city. I still don't know my way around all the ramen in the city. Well, so we'll figure it out. One restaurant at a time. That's right. So we're gonna order that now <laughs> and drink our wine. The ramen has arrived. Oh. I am so excited. We got this creamy veggie broth. Both Jill and I got the same thing. Yeah. She got a little spicy. Spicy she kick. <laughs> got some spicy oil. Uh, we also got these. It's like fried mashed potato. It's going to be incredible. I'm so excited. No, we're digging it. <laughs> Hello, guys. Coming at you looking fresh morning pajamas, but it's 30 in the afternoon. We've just been working all day. We have fun things happening in like an hour. So I got to. I gotta finish this vlog. I meant to end it last night, but then we got carried away. We were watching Stranger Things. Then we watched another show, Uncoupled. It's new Neil Patrick Harris on Netflix. But we got a lot of a lot of fun things coming up. I'm very excited to bring you guys along. Have all these little roommate vlogs. I also got the rug. It arrived. There it is. So you'll see that in the next vlog. We're gonna open it up in a bit, set that up. Actually, maybe when we get back tonight. We got a whole a whole evening planned. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of the Muskoka weekend, because that was so fun. Just like looking back at those clips, just like pure peace. You can just feel the peace and the fun, and there were so many people. Just a good time all around, and good times ahead. Everything is good. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so much. Again, I hope you enjoyed the vlog, and I will see you with another one. Love ya. Yeah.